I have a selection of water bottles from the company Super Sparrow that I want to share with you today. If you're interested in learning why you may want to consider purchasing one, keep watching. Just before we get started, the two things I want to mention. First off, I'd like to thank uh, Super Sparrow for sending me these water bottles so that I could share them with you. In fact, they sent me four different models that I'll show you in a moment's time. The other thing I want to talk about is why you might want to consider purchasing an insulated water bottle like these. So I will come at this from an outdoors person's perspective. And the first thing I'll mention is it helps keep my water from freezing during the winter. So I have had it happen during midwinter when it's been very very cold that I set out with a water bottle, uninsulated water bottle, and have had the water start to freeze in it. Now, it was not a big deal. I was able to deal with it, but it's so much easier if you don't have to deal with frozen water, and an insulated water bottle will help prevent that from happening. Now, there are some tips and tricks and techniques to keep that from happening, and if you're interested, I will make a separate video on how to do that. The other thing an insulated water bottle does for you in keeping your water hot during the winter is if you start out early and you have had put boiling water in your water bottle, you may be, when you sit down to have your coffee and tea, that the water is still hot enough to use without reheating. At the very least, if you do have to heat your water up, it'll take a lot less fuel than it would if it was cold. Now, time it will save time as well, but it's more important that it will save fuel. And the third thing I like to do with water bottles during the winter is to use them to keep me warm at night. So uh, often I have taken an uninsulated stainless steel water bottle usually filled it with boiling hot water. Now to keep this from burning me, I'll tuck it down inside of a sock or some kind of an insulated sleeve. Bring that in the sleeping bag with me. It'll keep me warm most of the night until the water starts to cool off, of course. And I usually have hot water, at least water that is not frozen, that I can start the next morning off with a, for my cup of coffee. Well, an insulated water bottle does two things. It has a better chance of still staying warm most of the night, and you don't have to tuck it down inside of a sock to keep it from burning you. All right, so let's go down to the tabletop. I'll show each, share each of these water bottles with you. I'll also be talking about some testing I did with these bottles and some comparisons I made with some other brand names. So what I thought I would do is show you each of the four water bottles that Super Sparrow sent me. I'll go over the key features and the technologies that three of them have in common. There's one different and you'll see it in a minute, but all of the specifications I'll list in the video description below if you want more information about them. And then what I'll do is I'll talk about some testing I did with these water bottles and some comparisons I made with other water bottles of a similar nature on the market. So to start with, this is the one liter stainless steel bottle. Now the technologies that go into the vacuum sealed water bottles are called insulation shield in the body and lock temp in the cap. And that's quite important as you'll understand in a moment. Other than that, they all share the same powder coat on the outside. Uh, they all have BPA stainless, BPA free stainless steel materials. And wherever the cap comes in contact with the water, there is BPA free materials, either uh, the ABS plastic or the silicone seals. It's a little bit different on each of them. So very quickly, let me just show you the bottles, how the caps work. So this bottle has a flat cap on top and you can see it's stainless steel inside. There is a little bit of uh, ABS plastic that is also BPA free down inside. I have used each of these bottles and done some testing with them, as I mentioned. So besides that, it also comes with this cap and the folding spigot and straw, two straws, in fact, a spare one in case you need it. So let's put that one out of the way. This is their 750 milliliter version. They all come in a variety of colors. Uh, I quite like this uh, yellowish, orangish one. And I'll show you the accessories that did come with in a minute, but it, it features the same insulation shield technology and lock temp in their cap as the other one does. Uh, this one has its bamboo and folding D ring on top, quite nice and compact and you know works very well. Let me show you the inside of this one. Now this has a stain the steel cap and just a thin silicone here. It really doesn't even come in contact with the water because the only place the silicone touches is the top of the bottle itself. This one's still a little damp from use. Now, what else did this one come with? Well, it also came with one of those spigot style uh, drinking caps on it and two straws. And the other thing it came with was this neoprene carrier. Uh, just a quick comment on this. The carrier itself is just fine. It works, it actually will extend how long things can stay hot or cold inside of the bottle, but the strap is 
well, I don't know. It's useless to me. <laughs> it's not long enough to go over my neck and certainly not over my neck and around my shoulder so it hangs down by my side. Uh, not the end of the world. I can certainly replace that if I want to. A lot of the time I'm not carrying a, um, a water bottle over my shoulder, especially during the winter time. But it's nice to have this carrier because, as I mentioned, it will extend the insulation value of the uh, bottle itself. The third one I want to show with you is a 550 milliliter bottle. Now this is from their ultra light line of, of water bottles. Again, stainless steel uses a different stainless steel, but thinner and stronger so that uh, you can get some weight savings on it. It also has the insole shield body and vac temp or lock temp or temp lock, I guess it is, uh, cap uh, technology. There is ABS plastic in this one, but there is a silicone ring again, so the majority of the contact with water will be through either the silicone ring, not so much through the ABS, the way this is designed, and again, all BPA free. It did not come with the extra spigot, but I did note that this spigot, the one for the 750 milliliter bottle, will fit the smaller bottle, but you will have to trim a little bit off the bottom of the straw. All right, that's three. Now the fourth one is a completely different design. This is a Triton uh, plastic, similar to some of the other brand names uh, use, type of material. This is a one liter bottle. It is very lightweight, of course, but this Triton material not only is it BPA free, but it is very strong. Now it only comes with the one cap, but this is, has a lock on it to keep the cap closed. It's more of a dirt shield on top. You can press the button and open it up and there you have your drinking uh, straw type thing. It does have a vacuum uh, or not a vacuum so much but a seal to keep it from leaking. We'll talk more about that in a minute but it does have a couple things inside. One is a spare seal for the top of the water bottle and a little I guess you would call it a filter type thing. So I wondered what you might use this for. I think there's a couple things you could. Certainly if you wanted to put ice inside and keep the ice from coming out as you're drinking from it, or if you wanted to mix water with something like fruit, I don't know, oranges, lemons, whatever else you might want to put in here, you can do that at, without having to worry about them clogging your, your straw, I guess, or your, your cap as you're trying to drink from it. The other thing it has, is a nylon lanyard on it. All right, we'll put that aside. So just before I talk about the test I did with each of these water bottles, there's one more key feature I think is worth mentioning, and that is all of the bottles come with a lifetime warranty from Super Sparrow against manufacturer's defects. So if you have any problems with any of these water bottles at any point in the future, Super Sparrow has you covered. Okay, now with regards to testing, I did two tests on all of the water bottles. First off, I wanted to test the claim that they had 100% leak proof caps. And in order to do this test, I started with cold water and filled them with cold water, shook them as hard as I could. I had no leakage whatsoever. And then I repeated the test using boiling water. Now, if anybody has put boiling water in a water bottle and given it a shake, you know, if it's going to leak, that's when it's going to happen because of course, hot water giving you and shaken will build up pressure and it will find any means of escaping that it can. So I was pleased and impressed the fact that none of these water bottles leaked with hot water in it, including when I used this type with, with the folding spigot on top. So my concern was with this type of cap on it that it might leak, but as long as the cap was closed or the spigot was closed, there was no leakage whatsoever from the water bottle. So I was quite happy with that because of course, Nothing worse than losing the contents of your water bottle inside of your pack and getting everything wet. Okay, the other testing I did was to see how long it would keep contents hot or boiling water hot in the test that I did in each of these bottles. I didn't test hot water in the Triton bottle because it's not uh, guaranteed or is not rated to keep water hot or cold. It's a different type of bottle altogether. So I started off by pouring boiling hot water into each of these bottles. Now I'll tell you it, from the time I got the kettle from the stove to putting the water in and then measuring the temperature of the water, the temperature inside had gone from 212 at boiling down to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Not unexpected because you're pouring hot water into a cold bottle. You're going to get some loss of temperature. So 
So I put the water in at 205 degrees. The room temperature was 61 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the full length of this test. And I came back and took a temperature reading again at the rate of time they're supposed to keep the bottles or the water hot. Now, what's interesting is that Super Sparrow only rates this style bottle than the one liter version to keep water hot for up to eight hours. Now, first thing I want to mention before I give you the temperature is there is no standard. It doesn't say how hot to start and how hot to end. And of course, there are variables that are, you know, kind of without outside of your control. Like I did this on my side of my house where the temperature was relatively warm. But if I was doing this in icy cold temperatures outside, it's seriously going to affect how long the water would stay warm. But I was quite pleased that after eight hours, and that's how long this is rated to keep the temperature hot or water hot, it had only dropped from 205 to 156 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, you can still, I don't know about coffee, but you can certainly still make a cup of tea or enjoy a nice warm drink. And as I mentioned earlier, you've got relatively hot water you can start with uh, in your kettle or your pot to bring it to, back to a boil if you want to make coffee or tea. So 156 degrees, not a huge temperature drop. I think I could have left this go the full 12 hours, the other two bottles, and I don't think I would have seen much more of a drop. It certainly would have been on comparison with these two bottles. So this being the smaller of the two bottles, after 12 hours, I went back and measured the temperature. This had dropped to 121 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's, I think, quite obviously because for a couple of reasons, it's smaller size. It has less mass to hold onto the heat. But remember also, this is the ultralight version. It does save weight, and, but you're going to lose a little bit of uh, uh, I guess insulative value the, because of the thinner metals in the bottle. Still 121 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not bad at all. This one saved the water temperature to 131 degrees Fahrenheit after 12 hours. So I was fairly impressed with each of these bottles in terms of what they would save. All right, let's talk about some comparisons I made with two other water bottles of similar nature that are available on the market. So those two bottles are the Yeti brand and the Hydro Flask brand. Now, in full disclosure, I don't own either of those water bottles, so I can't verify the claims or claim that this water bottle is any better than those because, uh, again, I don't have them to test. But what I did do, do is go to one of the local sporting goods store and handle each of those bottles and took a good close look at them and this is what I can tell you about comparing them at least visually. To start with Yeti's water bottles are most of their designs are a little bit different than these but from the way as far as I could tell the quality of the construction was right on par. I couldn't see any distinct advantage the Yeti had over the Super Sparrow. Now, when I looked at the Hydro Flask water bottles, the comparison was even closer. You know, virtually, if I had changed the markings on the outside and maybe changed the lids, I could have confused or, or, or thought one bottle was made the same as the other bottle. Very, very close in design and then quality of construction, I could see virtually no difference whatsoever. One difference that you will note, of course, is the price. Now, this is true for Amazon US and factory stated manufacturers suggested retail price. It does not apply to Canada. I'll explain what I mean in a minute. So on average, Yeti water bottles or uh, water carriers of a similar nature run about $50 to $60. And that's also true of Hydro Flask. They run about $50 to $60. The MSRP for the Super Sparrow runs about $25. I'll put the uh, prices with the information in the video description below. So what that's telling me is that these sell for half the price of the Yeti or the Hydro flask, at least in the U.S. I say that because when I went on Amazon Canada, they were virtually on par. So I'm not sure why these are so much more expensive in Canada, but uh, if you can get one from the States, you're going to save yourself a significant amount of money. Now, the other thing I looked at was their claims in terms about how long they can keep their contents hot. What I can say is that there was no... Uh, finding the information from Yeti was a little difficult. I did find reference to up to six hours, but it doesn't say 
which bottles or again what is the standard how hot when you start how long or how hot when you finish six hours not as good as the super sparrow and it only has a five-year warranty now hydro flask interestingly enough it has exactly the same claims for as far as temperature keeping things hot between eight and twelve hours depending on the bottle it also has a lifetime warranty. Interesting that they look so much the same and have so many similar other characteristics and key features. Let's wrap this video up with a few pros and cons for the water bottles from Super Sparrow. What do I really like about them? I really like the quality of construction and their designs. They are right on par with the more well-known brand names in terms of quality and function. I like the fact that they have leak-proof lids on them, and I like the fact that they do keep their contents hot for a great period of time. There's really not much to dislike about them. The only thing I'm going to say is I'm a bit confused about why they cost so much in Canada. But if you are in the U.S., you can get these bottles for half the price of those competitive name brand ones. Okay, I think I've given you all the information that I can for today. As I mentioned, if you're interested, I will do a separate video sharing everything I have learned about keeping your water hot during the winter months or keeping it from freezing. If you're interested, please put that in the comments section below. I will provide all the links as well as all the information I have for each of these uh, water bottles in the video description. If you have any other comments or questions, post those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.